Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a luxury haul video and this is a collective haul, so things that I've been buying over the last six weeks or so. And um, one thing I bought in September and the rest have been a little bit more recent than that. This isn't masses of stuff by any means, it's literally only four items, so this might be a short video, but I got some really good pieces that I wanted to share. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first up are a pair of shoes and I got these from matches.com so it comes in their classic marble packaging. I actually teased these on my Friday Favourites blog post last week. So if you read my blog then you already know what these are. It comes in beautiful packaging. I used to order from matches all the time and I haven't in so long, I have no idea why, but I do love their packaging, it's always so beautiful. And you get the of the fancy receipt holder. You know something's expensive when it comes in a fancy receipt holder. Okay. Oh goodness. A lot of packaging to deal with right now. So the box will absolutely give it away. I think this is quite iconic packaging right now, but these are Aquazura shoes. This is my first pair of Aquazura shoes. I absolutely love the brand. I always lust after their shoes season after season, but I'm always quite hesitant to go there because one, they're really expensive, and two, they're always very trendy in a good way because I think they're very, very cutting edge, but that always makes me really hesitant to spend, you know, five, six hundred pounds on a pair of shoes which may only last that season, but this style has been around for a while, so I thought it was kind of a safe bet. They're as well so they're very practical so hopefully I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them and <laughs> says on the lid if the shoe fit if the shoes fit buy them in every color words we can all live by I think and it has a sole protector a little sketch of the shoe the amazing dust bag with a golden pineapple I love pineapples and then, oh oh no it's a tote bag Oh goodness, that's crazy. Um, and then the shoes are the flat tie-ups. Oh my goodness, that is so bright. I'm gonna try and insert better pictures so you can see because I know whenever I have light colors, it always shows it really bright on camera. Um, but they have the little gold heel right there and they tie up at the ankle. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. What is the styling? So it's the Christie flat and the material is Nappa leather and the color is in blush. And these I got in a 38 and a half, which is my usual designer shoe size. And I think they are absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. Um, how much were these? I think these were 380 pounds or was it 400? I will list all the details and the link and everything down below. I did dither about these for a really long time, but I got a matches voucher because I hadn't shopped with them in a while. And so that kind of encouraged me to have a look and I saw I could get some money off these. So I thought it was worth doing since I've been lusting after them for so long and I'm really, really pleased with them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So I can't wait to wear these. I'm not sure what the comfort factor is gonna be. I know my Valentino Rocks does the flat ones. They're cute, but they are definitely not the most comfortable flats I own. I can wear them. I do get a lot of questions about those flats. Um, I can wear them out to a dinner date or the cinema, but they are no-goes for kind of all-day shopping. So I'm hoping these are going to be a little bit more comfortable, but um, I will report back maybe in a recent purchase update video and I'll let you know how I get on with these. Up next is a jewellery piece and it's this beautiful gold bangle from a brand called Leah Alexandra and it's from the boutique Six for Gold, which is a, a new jewellery boutique that specialises in more kind of hard to find jewellery designers. I thought this was just so, so pretty. It just kind of cuffs on like that and you can wear it further up on your arm, which will look really nice with cocktail dresses, I think, or you can just wear it dangling down. I hope you can't see too much of my arm there because I am actually peeling from my holiday in Bali and I've just been slathering on moisturiser, but it doesn't seem to be having much effect, so hopefully the light is gonna blur that out. But apart from that, the bracelet is lovely. Uh, this was 115 pounds, I think and it's just really well made. It is slightly adjustable as well, so you can, it will fit kind of smaller wrists. And usually I'm not that much of a gold girl. I usually always wear my Tiffany bracelet, which is actually right here. And I got this for my birthday, not last birthday, but the birthday before. And up until a week ago, I hadn't taken this off at all. I showered in it, I slept in it, I wore it every single day for over a year, and I do still love it. Um, but I've started a new type of exercise, which involves a lot of mat work, and this kept dropping down and like embedding into my hand, which is really painful, so I've taken it off. And I don't generally like to take this on and off because it's quite difficult with a clasp to get 
get it back on and so I do usually have to ask someone to help me but I'm going to try and get better at it so I can just take it on and off when I want um, but for kind of occasional jewellery I do usually go for kind of white gold silver that kind of tone just because I think it looks slightly better on me um, but for evening jewellery I do like to wear gold because I think it's just a little bit more glam and often I'll use a bag which has gold hardware and I just think it's nice to be a bit matchy matchy but I thought this was so pretty I think there is a 15% off code so I will list that as well but yeah really in love with this the next item I'm going to share with you is probably the biggest purchase of this haul and it is a Burberry trench which I am so excited about. For those of you who follow me on Instagram you will see I bought this maybe about six weeks ago. I bought it when I went up to Chester for my brother's wedding and we stopped by Cheshire Oaks which is a big designer outlet. It's not a mall but it's kind of a shopping area and they have a Burberry outlet there and I always go into the Burberry outlet because I think you find really great deals on coats and jackets and slightly pricier items and I saw this and I I just completely fell in love. I've had a Burberry trench on my wish list for so many years and it's always something that I've meant to buy but because they're such classic items and they're always available season after season I never really felt the rush to get it and I've always prioritized buying other things which were seasonal specific or I thought might sell out and I thought this year might be the year that I'd get one but I thought I'd just get it from the online store and then I saw this and it kind of ticked all the boxes. I wasn't intending on getting something navy. I was probably leaning towards getting the beige version or maybe maybe the black I hadn't really decided I tried both on before and I liked both but there wasn't a kind of standout winner in my mind and then I saw this and I thought it was such a nice change from the kind of classic trench I also used to have a navy coat and then last year I kind of impulsively gave it away to charity because you know it was looking a little bit worn I was like you know what Amy you should probably cut yourself off from this coat and, and give it away and then as soon as I did I was like what do I wear? I rely on this coat so much so I was a bit impulsive with that but I think this makes a very kind of nice upgrade. This is considerably more expensive than that coat and it's very very kind of classic Burberry you know. It doesn't have the um, check anywhere except the lining so you do have the classic Burberry check in there but that's it. It doesn't have it you know on the collar or anything like that. It's pretty plain and this isn't one of those kind of super shiny waterproof trenches. This is a little bit thicker, it's more like a cotton twill I think, but I like that about it because it is a little bit warmer I think, especially in the UK where I feel like we have autumn but autumn lasts like two weeks and then it goes straight to winter, it does get very cold quite quickly. So I think this is good that it's going to be so warm. Uh, I haven't worn it yet, I've been waiting to do this video. I thought I'd actually do the video a lot quicker than I have so I've been itching to wear it but I did want to show it first and I got this for £455. It was originally £695 and there was another one that I was debating on when I was there and that was much more expensive. I think that was originally 1100 or something and it was discounted two or three hundred pounds more and I actually preferred this one a bit more so I was really pleased and I couldn't really tell the quality difference so I'm not really sure how Burberry prices their trenches and why some are so much more expensive than others but I thought this was great. Um, the sizing I went for a UK 4 which is crazy because in no world am I UK 4 but I find Burberry sizes are just all over the place. Most UK brands don't usually go down that low and I think Burberry even do a UK 2 and maybe a UK 0 as well. If you're thinking about getting a Burberry trench I would really recommend trying them on because the sizing is all over the place and also in between trenches as well. I find the sizing differs a lot so just something to keep in mind but I will um, try this on so you can see what it looks like but it's just very very classic with the belt and just buttons up. And yeah, I just really love this. I'm so excited to start wearing it. Uh, I have had a few questions about this already from that one Instagram post, so I will also do an update on this in a, in a future video. But yeah, really, really happy that I finally added a trench to my collection. And then last up is an accessory that I bought to go with my trench. I was so excited to get that and I wanted to kind of have the whole package. So I did buy a scarf from Burberry as well. I got it from Selfridges and I actually picked it up yesterday so I got it um, through the Click and Collect because I'm always way too cheap to actually pay for shipping and so I always just get Click and Collect and it's right here and I could not be happy with this. I think it's so nice. Uh, it was almost the price of the trench which is kind of crazy. It's £335 so only about £120 cheaper than the trench so that was definitely better value for money than this but it is 100% cashmere. 
I think anyway, I'm sure I read that. Yes, it is 100% cashmere. It's so super soft, it's really lovely. You can get these monogrammed on the um, Burberry website as well. I thought about doing that, but considering I hadn't seen, seen it in real life, I didn't want to kind of then take the plunge and just get something monogrammed, so. I haven't decided whether I will. I don't generally like getting things monogrammed after my Goyard bag. Um, that kind of scared me off a little bit for future, but I might think about it. But honestly, I just like this one so much. I think I'm just gonna keep this, but it's um, it's not the longest one. So it's quite, it's quite thin because I feel like the tread now is really chunky scar. So this isn't that at all, but it's really, really lovely. And it goes perfectly with the trench, which I'll just put right here, but. I got it in white to kind of contrast. If I'd gotten a lighter coloured trench coat, I think I would have gone for a darker scarf, but I thought this might make a nice contrast. So I thought that just looked so pretty and I can't wait to wear it with it. So really happy. I'm not sure it's going to be worth 335 pounds. And to be honest, I probably would never have bought this if it wasn't for the trench coat because I was really keen on the pair. Um, but that said, I'm really happy with the combination. I do think it's lovely. So yeah, I can't wait to wear them together. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will try and leave links to what I can down below. The Burberry Trench, as I mentioned, I got from the outlet. So if you live near Chester or any other Burberry outlet, you might be able to find that. I don't know whether I'll be able to find it online, but I will have a look and I'll try and link something similar if I can't. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Look as good as the day I met you I forget just why I left you I was insane